Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to turn the oxygen taps element into accordion on mobile. Let's take a look at how it works. Okay, see, this is what we're gonna be doing. So you see that it changes to accordion and stacks on top of each other. Now this is particularly useful because uh, you want the tabs to be associated with the tab contents like so. And most of the time with the tabs element, uh, the content of the tabs gets separated at mobile breakpoint, making it very difficult to determine which tab belongs to which content. And there's usually a lot of scrolling uh, associated with it. But uh, with this approach, it makes it very, very responsive. And we're going to take a look at the logic behind this and how this is done. Uh, if you're watching this video, you probably know how to set up your oxygen tab design. So I have the tabs and the tabs content and you have to make sure that you wrap it in a wrapper and that parent div should have a class of tabs wrapper. Now, if you want to know how to set up a tabs design, I'm going to link a video at the top right corner where I showed how to auto play oxygen tabs. So you can take a look at that video because I took some time to set up this tab design. But um, if you already know how to set up a tab design, let's continue. So we have our tabs and we have our tabs content. In order to be able to have this effect, what we need is to determine how we are going to arrange these tabs and tabs content. So what we would need typically, I have a mock-up here, is to have the tabs and the tab corresponding tab contents arranged in this manner. So you have uh, the first tab, the first tab content, the second tab, the second tab content, and so on. And for us to be able to do that, we need to give it order, the order, the CSS order property. Uh, that means that the first, the tab is gonna have order of zero, and then the tab content is gonna have order of one. The next tab is gonna have order of two, and the tab content is gonna have order of three. So basically, the tabs are gonna have order of even numbers with the exception of zero, and then the tab content, they are gonna have order of odd numbers. So how are we gonna do that? You could do that by manually adding those order CSS uh, property to the tabs and also adding this order to the tab content. But what if you come maybe some weeks later, some months later, and you want to rearrange these tabs, uh, you probably will not remember that you need to go in and start changing those orders again. So we have a better way of doing it. Instead of doing it manually, we are going to use JavaScript to do it. And to be able to do it, I'm going to show you a code, and we are going to take a look at how that code works. It's a very short code and very straightforward. Here we have three variables. Now, I'm going to link all the codes in this tutorial in the description, so you check it out. And we're going to have three variables the tab order which will set to zero, the tabs which will get all the tabs. Uh, these are the default oxygen classes so you don't need to add or remove any class on your design and then the tab content is going to get all the tab contents. And now we're going to look through each of the tab and we're going to get the index. Now the index refers to its position in the DOM. So the first one has an index of zero, the second one has an index of one, two, three, four. Uh, and then when we get that index, we're going to say if that index is equals to zero, then we want to set the tab order to index, which means zero. Other than that, we're going to set the tab order to index times two. So if the index is zero, we are setting the tab order to zero. Now let's go back to that code. Uh, but if the index is one, we're setting the tab order to index times two. So one will be one times two and any number that you multiply by two is going to give you an even number. So all these are going to have even uh, order properties. So it's going to be zero, two, four, six, eight. And then we're going to do the same thing to the tab contents. We're going to look through it. And we're going to get the index. Now we need the CSS order to be odd number for our tab content. So uh, we're going to set the tab order to one if it is the index is zero. And then that is index plus one, which is basically the same thing as one because zero plus one is one. We could just write one there. And other than that, if it is, if the index is not zero, then we're going to set the index, uh, the order to be index times two plus one. So when you multiply a number by two, it gives you an even number. But when you add one to any even number, you'll always get an odd number. So this ensures that all the tabs content has the order of even number. So you see now that that gives us this order. So we have uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. 
and that's how we are able to add the order property dynamically to our order so whenever you add extra tabs you don't need to bother to go and manually add the order it's automatically added to be able to get these to stack against each other this way now notice that the tab this tab and the tab content are all in different parent they are not sharing the same parent so it is not possible to stack all of them against each other so even though this has the order of zero and this has the order of one this cannot stay next to this in the DOM because they are in separate parents to be able to remove them from the separate parents we will need to set the parent element which is let me get the parent element here so we have these uh, as the parent, so I'm going to collapse that and then I'm going to collapse it. So we have this is the parent of the tab and this is the parent of the tab content. And normally, this is how these tabs will be this just the way it is inside the builder. So you have all the tabs and all the tab content. So you have uh, all the tabs and all the tab content to be able to place them next to each other. We need to set the both parent, which is this and this. We need to set them to display as content so when you set it to display content what it basically does is that it unwraps the children and then place it in the next container so it behaves as if the parents do, do not exist and then these children become siblings to each other that way it is easy or possible to place them next to each other according to their order number so you can see here that if I check this tab, uh, if I check the tab element, you can see that this has the order of zero. Of course, you can see it from here. The next one has the order of two. The next one has the order of four and so on. And if I check the tab content, I can see that it has the order of one, three, five, seven, and so on. So we are able to place them next to each other. And then in order to be able to animate and have these um, slide out effects, we will change the default settings for the hidden, the tab hidden class. So now I'm going to go to the CSS and then I'm going to, we're going to take a look at that. Here we set the Oxytab content wrapper and the Oxytab wrapper, which is the default oxygen class. Like I said, you don't need to add or remove class. The only thing you need to do is to put your tab in a, a div and give it an ID of tab wrapper. So this is where that comes in. And we're using that to give these gaps that you're seeing here. And then we set the, the parents of the tab and the tab contents to display content. And then we override the default settings, the default CSS for the hidden class for the tab content. And we set it to display flex and set the maximum height to zero overflow hidden. And then for the oxy tab contents, uh, once it is no longer hidden, we revert these settings here. So it enables us to, uh, to switch from minimum height zero to to the normal height and of course this other css takes care of the animation inside the tab content which is uh you see that those elements fading in so the contents fade in so this takes care of that so it selects all the content and apply these settings to it both for the hidden class and the regular class and then yeah one thing i would want you to take notice for these to work properly you need to make sure that your tab contents don't have any padding so if you want to have a padding in your layout you have to wrap your content inside another div and then rather give that div a padding so these should not have any padding so for each of your tab content let them have an inner uh, wrapper div where you're going to apply the padding to so that is the only way you're going to have this to work like this once we have finished setting up i can refresh this and then you can see that everything falls in place now one thing i want you to take note of is now you have this tab you can see it flushes with the content so if the content uh background and the tab have the same color you probably want it to flush and to do that i'm going to go back to that code and show you what i did there so i gave it the gap the tab wrapper the gap of 0.3 rem which is responsible for these little gaps you're seeing here but uh to be able to get this tab content to
to flush with the tab and not have a gap there i have to give the oxy tab content a margin top of negative 0.3 rem so if i say remove that you see it's going to have that gap so um, let me put back that in so that just offsets this gap and fills in the space so that makes it possible to have that uh, gapless layout for both the tab and the content to make it you know feel like it is one thing so all you need to do is to copy this code linked in the description below paste it in your code block uh, but don't forget to wrap your tab and your tab content in a div and change the id this is the only thing that you need to do every other thing is basically plug and play all right so that's it for changing your tab to accordion on mobile pretty straightforward right well if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up and subscribe hit the notification bell so you wouldn't miss subsequent videos i have many more in store until then see you next time